Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man X3. Let's jump right back in. Alright guys, the list does not lie. Our catfish friend is the next boss to beat. I honestly kind of forget the logic around my list. We have to beat a secret boss um, with a specific weapon and how do I how do I articulate this? There's only certain levels that have the uh, access to that secret boss's stage. Uh, this is actually one of them. In fact, I think it was that platform that we just passed over. However, you can't uh, you can't fight him until you've beaten two bosses. And in addition to that, uh, you have to beat him with a specific weapon. There's there's actually two weapons that you can beat him with specifically in order to um, allow you to get access to uh, the secret weapon at the end of the game. I think the order that I that I picked to fight the bosses in prevents us from beating those stages that have access to that boss, but allow us to have the weapon required to beat him. If that makes any sense whatsoever, it's hard to explain. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Let's just move on. Let's let's uh, let's pretend that conversation never happened, and uh, let's carry on in uh, getting through Volt Catfish's stage. Is this going to be a mini boss? There are two bosses that will show up later on, and those rooms. There's you'll see those rooms in each of the stages that currently have no occupancy. But they will. Just had lunch. Salami and cheese. I'm I'm a helpless helpless man. That's about the extent of my culinary skills. Grab a bag of salami. Grab a bag of provolone. Roll the salami with the provolone. And eat it. Yum. In my defense, we're out of bread. So there's that. Okay. And the rhino's weapon is uh, this guy's weakness. So we'll take advantage of that. For sure. I remember seeing a speed run of this game and he used a technique where <laughs> he's able to like spam the shot or something. I don't know. I didn't understand it. I don't I don't know how these guys do it. Uh, but they are real good at these games. I will just stick to my technique that I just developed in this moment. Quite literally, I that was that was on the fly strategy tips from Kindly Key in. Okay, okay, he is done. So I'm looking at my list, believe it or not. Terrible handwriting, look at that, can you see that? Probably not, you probably can't see it, but ugh, right like a four-year-old. What did we get? Oh, the suspense. You get Triad Thunder. Okay, here's our here's our introduction to the, the villains of Mega Man X3. Let's, let's have some fun with their voices. Doppler, what's he gonna sound like? He is the Maverick Hunter I failed to catch last time. I had no idea he's so powerful. Bit and Bite! I have a feeling Bit and Bite are just gonna sound like everybody else. Bring that Maverick Hunter to me, alive if possible. Affirmative, Dr. Doppler. I'm gonna have to add like an echo effect because they were both talking at the same time. <gasps> Who's this mysterious figure? Alive, Dr. Doppler. You are so kind. Watch your mouth or I'll put you back where I found you. Even with your enhancements, you are still no match for me. And my giant shoulder pads. Thanks for the upgrade, Doctor, but I have a score to settle and I'll do it my way. Or the highway. He didn't say that. Thank goodness he didn't say that. Fine. Just make sure you do it. I still can't believe that Maverick Hunter defeated my master twice in the past. It's a weird voice. I apologize, but I'm I gotta stick to it now, so if Doppler has more more dialogue, we're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, crush crawfish? Crawfish. In case you you were actually able to see the letters, I I neglected to put an A in crawfish. Maybe I was it was shorthand. Listen, I thought I was the only one who was gonna look at that. I didn't think that the whole world would see it. All all four of you. Alright, let's do this. Can't use that. Now is there is there a secret that we can get here? That's no. I don't think so. We need the we need the armor. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can break this open. Yeah. Okay. So 
I'll actually, I'll show you... No, maybe I won't. Never mind. Never mind. Although I don't know what's there. <laughs> what's actually there? My mind knew that there was something there. I don't know what's actually there. We have to bring armor down there to get access to that. Okay. This is Bit. Welcome, X. I'm Bit. I have my orders. You are to be destroyed. I thought he said to take me back alive. Whoa. I just kind of happen into this guy's pattern here. You know what he reminds me of is that, uh, was it, was it, uh, oh man, Mega Man X2, the guy, the purple guy, kind of looked like a, like a samurai. Oh man, I forget his name. Was it Violin? No, Violin was the big guy with the ball and chain. So, nah, I forget his name. That's all right. But th this attack pattern kind of reminds me of that, although it's a lot easier. It, it is not possible for you to contain so much power. The next time we meet, the results shall be different. Now, uh, I don't know if we could have actually done it. I don't think we could have. Um, there are a particular set of weapons that beat uh, both Bit and Bite uh, that will destroy them permanently so that you don't have to fight them again. But I don't think we have the weapon necessary for that. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. I do want to get this health, but uh, if we drop down here, there's this teleporter. That's the... Oh, no! Oh no! I don't want to do this! I didn't mean to do that! Just, just, I don't know. Kill me. Kill me now. I hope I didn't mess this up. Oh no. We don't want to do this yet. We don't, we do not want to be here. We need a weapon to beat the mysterious maverick. It's vile. Spoiler. I really hope that that didn't mess things up. We're gonna go back. Oh man, if that messed it up, we're gonna have to start over. That's gonna be a real bummer. I can't believe it. I, I was, I, I wanted to use that, that teleporter to, to get back up. Okay, the teleporter's still there, so I'm gonna assume that we're okay. However, I'm gonna be a lot more careful. <laughs> ah, what a stupid mistake to make. Actually, it was just, I, I meant to do that because we were at zero lives, so by killing myself, we're back to two lives. I just, I was just testing you guys. All right, let's make our way into this submarine or ship of some sort. See that? I put on my, uh... That was my rapid fire face. Which does happen to look a lot like my leave me alone, I'm pooping face. That's gross. Oh yeah! Ha 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 ha! Uh, can we just leave? Is there stuff over there? I don't really care. Oh, boss fight! It's an engine. This is cool turns the ship over sideways. Well, I imagine it'd be filling with water at this point, wouldn't it? Well, it's the future. It's the year 21XX after all. All right, we made it. All right, get over here. Crawfish. Mmm, mmm. You ever had crawfish before? I've had crawfish. It's, it's, it's quite delicious. Now, here's a pro tip for crawfish eating, and it's gonna sound real gross, but trust me, okay? You eat the tail. That's good, tasty meat, but there's more. So you pop the head off, and you just suck the heck out of the brains. Just like a like a soupy, delicious mush of of just flavor and deliciousness. It sounds disgusting. It is disgusting. It's delicious. Do it. Preferably not to robot crawfish, though. Don't suck the brains out of a robot crawfish. Don't recommend that. Okay, so this is actually the weapon that uh, we are looking for. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll fight uh, Neon Tiger, which is the guy who I've highlighted there on the screen. And I'll explain. Uh, there's probably a stupid reasoning that I had in my head for going to Neon Tiger less. Next, I'll try to explain it, whether it makes sense or not. That's up to you to decide. A lot of the words that come out of my mouth never make sense. I get that a lot. Um, but until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and stick around for the next one. See you around.